please tell us about the organization that you and he and others, some in this room, created called NOR, which is an acronym, the National Organization for American Revolution, which embodied that idea of taking responsibility. And, and tell us about that organization and particularly what it meant for, to you and others in the organization. Well, it's such a great opportunity to, to be here and to be with the Box children. Where are you all? Let me see those Box children. Mm -hmm. Raise your mm -hmm. head. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. And I have to say thank you because we took him. We thought he yes. was ours. Yeah. Yeah, you um, and, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. So I was um, teaching. I created the first ever Black Women in White America course here in the city of Detroit at Wayne County Community College. And so I was telling the sister with the feminist cap on, so we were feminists, you know. And uh, we weren't giving over the notion of feminism to white women. Uh, some folk went so far as to call themselves womanists. We said we were revolutionary feminists. So I'm teaching this class. And uh, Kenny is somewhere in here. Is Kenny in here? Kenny there he is, Kenny Snodgrass. So uh, I'm living in a... Uh, a house with two other feminists. Uh, their child is living with us and one of these little people, one of their daughters. And so we're trying to work with the National Organization for uh, National Black Feminist Organization. We're coming together, building a feminist model here in the Detroit area. And so folks said, well, you, you know, invite Kenny to your class. Okay. So I invite Kenny Snodgrass to my class. And here comes this little old man holding Kenny's baby. And I'm thinking, mm, what is, why, did they, why would he bring the granddaddy <laughs> to the class? <laughs> OK, so we talking. And you know, here is this, these revolutionary ideas. And then Jimmy started that talk. <laughs> I said, who is this man? And he turned my class out, and I was invited to what we call the Revolutionary <coughs> Study Groups. And I went over there on Field Street um, and started those and went into those um, trainings. And they trained you. They trained your mind. You read everything. We read everything. <laughs> we read articles that, you know, like today we would you know, read everything that comes across um, in the media, in the social media. In those days, you had to get print copies, and you would read it, and they'd share it. And we would go to class every week, revolutionary training school. Um, and the idea was to train a black cadre, a cadre of leaders. And what I think I brought um, to Jimmy, Jimmy and Grace were pretty traditional when I first met them. And we, were, we would go back and forth around uh, feminist ideas. And Jimmy was easy. He was an easy learner. He learned um, to challenge some of the ideas around chauvinism. He learned to make that analysis. Because he always had that core that you talked about, that, that very nice, he was just a Southern gentleman. Um, Jimmy, my, and so in this period, uh, I just lost John on May 17th. Um, forgive me for that. But at the same time that I was meeting Jimmy and Grace, uh, my mother died. My mother died in 1978. Came, had come into the organization in 75, 76. And so when I brought my baby home, there he is right there. Stand up, Dr. Burns. <laughs> when I brought my baby home, my daddy was devastated. I brought my baby home, and, and I have pictures of Jimmy and Grace holding that child. That's who they were to us. He was my husband's best man. Yes. Mm -hmm. He was my husband's best man. 
Bobby's godfather. So he was intimately, so now listen to what I just said to you. We were learning how to be revolutionists, <laughs> learning how to run this city, learning how to get out there, make an analysis, and he was loving us just like we were his own children. That was the model of what the revolution and what the, the embodiment of what we could be. Uh, and so we found it, uh, we came out of advocators, and the analysis was made uh, that there were all these clusters, you know, sales like uh, groups all across the country that should come together, come together under the uh, name of the National Organization for an American Revolution. And at that time, where's Shay? There she is. So Shay and I were in graduate school. I brought Shay into NOAA, or into the Advocators, and we ran into Rick and his group, and we came together and formed an organization, primarily with a goal of building a cadre of leadership, those who could lead this country, based on fundamental ideas uh, that we were generating. And we, 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 had, we worked. Um, what I want to say about the impression, I mean, I think you get the sense. Jimmy was very much in my life, very intimate in my life. My father, and he died the same year. My father died in um, March of 1993. Jimmy came to daddy's funeral with his oxygen on and then died, as you know, later on that year. So again, these are principles not just of um, hard nose, no humanity. These were ideas of what the new society could be. They were about relationships, and relationships based on struggle, based on understanding the dynamics, the dialectics, based on understanding the history of this country, and particularly the role of black folk in this country. Um, I'll, stop, I'll stop there, other than to say that his relationship with my father uh, was coming out of the South, too. They could talk about what it was. Um, a group that I work with now, am working with now, uh, we just came from Alabama, which was important for me, and my people are from Alabama. Jimmy was from Alabama, Mobile, and my people are from Lisman. And we went down to the Equal Justice Initiative. But they used this concept that I want to just throw out there, uh, calling us um, internal refugees. We were refugees from the South and treated just like the refugees are being treated today. And worse, amen, amen. And that therefore, we are not going to allow anyone to tell us what we did. We won that revolution, I heard somebody say. We won, we freed the slaves. No, you didn't do anything. I don't know, and I preached today. I'm an ordained minister, pastor now of my church. And I preached today, we. Who do you, who be we? Who be we? Jimmy and Grace helped us, taught us. We all struggled around the idea of inclusivity and what that truly, truly means. That if you're going to have an American revolution, if we are going to make a difference in this world, in this society, then all of us have to be included. Now, we may not all have the same ideas. We may not all be in the same place of development. We may not all have it exactly correct. But we're all in this together, and we better figure it out one way or the other. 